करायचे नंतर वर्क चालू असताना ते फोटो तुम्ही त्याच्या मशनरी कोणत्या वापरल्या आहेत काय केलं आहे मटेरियल hearty good afternoon to one and all to begin the auspicious event may i invite all our dignitaries to light the lamps in every engineering student's life it is said a world without an engineer is just like a bike without wheels september 15 is designated as engineers day in honor of sir moksha shagudan vishveshwara he was a gem of mankind itself here at ndmvp we value our intellectual capital and nurture it through perfect blend of traditional as well as contemporary ways of life and means for the comprehensive development of a student's personality gathered here to celebrate engineers day before we move on let me acknowledge the presence of our eminent guest unmesh gaidani sir now i would request our principal sir to felicitate our guest unmesh gaidani sir Thank you, sir. Now I request our HOD sir to felicitate our principal, sir. Sorry. Now I request our HOD sir to felicitate our principal, sir. Thank you sir now i request divesh patel president sesa to felicitate our hod sir now i request gorav chauhan, chauhan to express his few thoughts our principal sir hod sir and all my staff members and all my dear friends today we have gathered here to celebrate the engineers day we celebrate engineers day it is the nothing but the birth anniversary of mr vishweshwarya m vishweshwarya was a famous indian engineer he was born on 15th september and we have celebrated as en engineers day he was one of the most eminent engineer that india have produced ever his full name was sir moksha gundam vishweshwarya better known as m vishweshwarya He was a man of high principles and discipline, an engineer for excellence. He was the chief architect behind the construction of the Krishna Raja Sagara Dam in Mandya, which helped to convert the surrounding barren lands into fertile grounds for farming. Sir Vishweshwarya was born into a Telugu Brahmin family in a village near Bangalore. His father was a prominent Sanskrit scholar of his times. His parents were very simple but principal people. His father died when he was just a 
and the family was plugged into a poverty. In order to continue his primary education from his village school and went to high school in Bangalore. He joined the Central College in Bangalore and studied hard. He was a good student in spite of his, all his hardships and completed his Bachelor of Arts in 1881. He went to the prestigious College of Engineering at Pune. After he managed to get some help from the government. After graduation in 1884, he found a job with PWD of Mumbai and Radha Nasik and joined as an assistant engineer. He then joined the Indian Irrigation Commission and helped to implement a complex system of irrigation in the Deccan Seas. During this time, he was told to devise a method of supplying water from the river Sindhu, which would prevent the wasteful flow of water in dams. Vishweshwara was knighted as the commander of the order of the Indian Empire, abbreviated as KCIE, by the British for his contributions to the society in, 18, in 1915. He was awarded with Independent India's greatest honor. He was also awarded as Bharat Ratna in 1955 for his re relentless work in the fields of engineering and education. He is the recipient of several honorary doctoral degree from eight universities in India. So on the occasion of Engineers Day, I thankful to Principal Sir and wish you all a happy Engineers Day. Thank you. I'd like to hand over to Sahil to introduce our honored guest. Good afternoon, everybody present here, and a happy Engineering's Day. When I first met Mr. Unmesh Gaidani, I was shocked seeing his CV. It was the best CV I had ever seen. So sit tight, I'm about to read out his CV. Mr. Unmesh Gaidani is a gold medalist, BE Civil, from Pune University. He also completed various law courses like LLB, DBM, DLL, and LW, and again was a topper in all of them. <laughs> By profession, Mr. Gaidani is architectural engineer. His field of interest are building planning, interior designing, valuation, city planning, and a law advisor. He also write law he also write articles in newspapers. Many of his article series are taken in record by government of Maharashtra. As an architectural engineer, Mr. Gaidani has completed various building projects like Nasik Municipal Corporation, Atal Dhyan Sankul. It is the first e-library in Nasik, and which is included in Vision 2020 of late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Then Sports Stadium of Nasik Road. Also for Kumbha Mela, Mr. Gaidani had proposed a technique of alternative bathing spots along the Godavari River. This idea was so creative, it helped to distribute flow load of Kumbha Mela. He was the first to scientifically prove and promote Nasik as a smart city. He also proposed and promoted a metro railway in Nasik. Mr. Gaidani wrote a book named Nasik Vikas Ara Khada Chinta Ani Chintan. This is the first ever written book of development plan launched by Honorable Justice A.H. Joshi. Along with the book, he also developed a first software which detects excess land reservations in development plan. He practically proved the alternative load road links that are now included in development plan. He is also working as a consultant development plan for NASIC. Thank you. Thank you, Sahil. Now I request our HOD sir, MP Kadam sir, for his few words of wisdom. A respected principal sir, Dr. Pattiwar sir, uh, today's chief guest, Umesh Gaidani, who is a well-known personality in the uh, town planning of uh, Nasik Municipal Corporation. Uh, all my staff members and my dear students, Today we have gathered here to, uh, to celebrate the Engineers Day uh, as a birthday of uh, Moksh uh, Vishweshwarya Moksha Gundam as an ambient Indian engineer. 
He served as a chief engineer during the construction of the Krishna Raju Sagar Dam on a river Kaveri near Mysore. He also built many dams in the uh, present day Maharashtra. Previously, it is in the Bombay. The dam built by him are still functioning even today. A testimony of his brilliancy, skill, honesty, and the dedication. So, before uh, the in short, the introduction regarding the or the information regarding the Vishweshwara has given. Sir, I want to introduce my department in shortly. Our uh, civil branch uh, was started in 2006 and 7 with uh, 11 students. The first batch having only the 11 students. So out of 11 students, only 5 students are secured in the second year. Remaining are failed. So on these 5 students, we have started our branch. And uh, from the first uh, pr from the second branch, we have got the university topper. So uh, she has got uh, 11 gold medals from a Pune University. And from that day, uh, continuously we have got the uh, two another two university topper from this our department. <laughs> our students are participating in various uh, programs uh, like uh, seminars, uh, projects. And the uh, last three years, our uh, uh, groups are winning uh, Avishkar to Avishkar, which is conducted by the University of Pune continuously from last three years. That is the achievement of our uh, department uh, from last three years. <laughs> Regarding the result of our department, our, uh, in our uh, last year batch, uh, total 71 students are there. Out of 71, uh, that uh, around 50 students are secured in distinction and the remaining are first class. So our result is also very good. So with this, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now I request our principal, sir, for his few words. Good afternoon, everybody. Dignitaries on the dais, the invited guests, Mr. Unmesh Gaidani, his sister, Mrs. Sarnaik, head of the Department of Civil Engineering, Professor Kadam sir, Dr. Sanir sir, all uh, the faculty of the Civil Department and uh, my dear budding engineers. We are assembled here, we are gathered here to celebrate the Engineers Day, the 15th of September. First, I present my heartiest wishes on this occasion that a very, very, very happy Engineers Day to all. We celebrate this Engineers Day on 15th September on the birth anniversary of Sir Moksha Gundam Vishwesharaya. It is our tradition, it is our culture. We pay homage to this great personality, the celebrities. We have just now gone through the the life history of uh, Sir Moksha Gundam Vishwesharaya. That he was born, brought up there in a small village, he got educated and so, but exactly, what exactly the things that made him to uh, this, say, the great personality. Why this, uh, uh, you know, the humankind salutes to this great personality? And why we celebrate this day as an engineer's day? Sir Moksha Gundam Vishwesharaya being a civil engineer. During his professional practice, he worked on the services to the humankind, that is with the development of, I think the priority he had given to the water management. 
the development of the villages, cities and all. Irrigation, infrastructure development. Fortunately, we are very fortunate that on this occasion today, the guest, Mr. Unmesh, is here to enlighten us in the same field where his expertise is. Just now, uh, he had given me one, uh, presented me one book that is the Nashik Vikas Aragada Chinta and uh, Chintan by Umesh Gaidani. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Huh? And uh, just I was going through. I have one fantastic thing I noted here. Uh, you know, uh, in the starting, manje kai asaila pahije, kai ahe, kai appreciate karala pahije, kuthe shortcomings ahead, and naki kai waila pahije, asa shavacha pana paranta postana, ashimala purna journey this liya postaka made, and real and a very fantastically, you know. Uh, the uh, prepared one and the thoughts are...